to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Spiro Mini! Now this here is the smallest robot we've reviewed yet, in which you get a lot of different things out of a small package. Now it does cost about $49.99, but it's actually a pretty good deal for the robot itself. So which, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here's our packaging and as you may have noticed, it's already kind of mini. Uh, so you do see the robot itself in a nice clear looking package uh, and it says Spiro Mini right over here and it's an app enabled drone. Now you can drive it, you can play games as well as do different coding. Uh, and the back here kind of talks about it in a little bit more detail. And over here it talks about what you can do. So it does have a 10 meter range. You have a face drive mode, uh, which allows you to use your face to control the robot. Uh, then you can charge it and play with different pens if you buy them. And it's got a 45 minute battery life. So let's go ahead and open this up. <laughs> yeah, it's quite simple. Uh, so this here is our robot. And just go ahead and open the case just like that. And there you go. Literally, it's a ball. Uh, it does feel like there's something in there and kind of moves around. Almost like an Easter egg kind of thing. <laughs> uh, in which it uh, looks like you might be able to... Ah, there we go. So you can go ahead and pop that out and look at the... This here's the robot itself. Uh, there is a charger port on this as well. So you can charge it this way right over here. Uh, and then they do sell different things like the shells that you can swap them out and get different colors and do different combos. So let's go ahead and put that to the side for now. And this here is also uh, the rest of the packaging, so let's go open this. So that kind of slides out like that. And then, looks like, uh, there we go, step one, uh, open it up. Step two, plug it in. Step three, open the app, quite simple. <laughs> and then we have a few other things in here as well, so let's go and take a look at that. Awesome! So we do get some uh, pins as well. Let's check that out so we can play bowling. And we do get, uh, looks like these here are cones that you can maneuver around as well. Now this here's a guide uh, and then here's our charger. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up and see what it's all about. Alright, so I just turned on our robot here uh, by plugging him into the wall and you can see that the LED itself does have a very nice bright color to it and it does change. Uh, so you can actually just kind of customize that as well. So let's go ahead and clear this up for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and load up the app just so you guys can see as well. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and first line up our droid. So put the blue dot towards us. And now the joystick will allow us to control the droid and uh, just kind of maneuver them the way we want. So let's go around these cones here. <laughs> kind of fun. It's a very unique, different kind of style of, I would say, movement. Uh, and the joystick's really sensitive, but it's not that hard to control. Especially compared to the other droids. I think this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa! All right, so uh, in addition to the joystick, there's a lot of other functionalities such as face drive, tilt, slingshot, joystick, and more. So let's go ahead and click on face drive. Now face drive is unique because it uses your facial recognition to control the droid. So uh, just to kind of give you an idea on how this works out, just so it doesn't run off the place, I'm going to put it into this little uh, spot here, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and look at it. Here we go. <laughs> So if I tilt my head right, it'll move right. Tilt my left, it'll move left. If I uh, make a sound face, <laughs> or if I make a shot face, ah! yeah, I guess that didn't work. Both eyes closed. <laughs> uh, sad face. Mm. <laughs> So that uh, kind of gives you an idea on how it works. Um, you know, obviously if you do put it down here, just to show you how it's gonna function, let's go ahead and put it here. And tilt left. It kind of goes pretty fast. So left, stop. Right, stop. Smile. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it kind of gives you an idea on how that works. So other things we can do in here is tilt mode. And, you know, tilt mode allows you to use your phone or you know any kind of device that you have in which if you tilt it, it'll kind of control it based off that. So this is me tilting it. You can see my hands here. So I'm going to tilt it forward, tilt it back, left, right, and you know, very basic functionality. Uh, uses your gravity tilt sensor, so it's really nice. 
So let's go back here. Uh, now for slingshot, let's try something a little bit different here. We're gonna use the pins that I came with. Now this is kind of like a bowling kind of setup here, so we're gonna try this out. Uh, definitely seems a lot of fun. So, all right. So slingshot. Now slingshot is literally what it is. You pull it back and you release it, and depending on how far you pull it back, will depend on how fast it goes. So if I go really fast, and let's see if we can go ahead and hit uh, these pins here. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, you see I didn't hit them all that time, so let's try that again. <laughs> so, you know, depending on how far back you pull it, uh, it'll go that, that much of these pins. So it kind of gives you an idea on how that works. So, you know, we didn't get a strike that time, but uh, we'll try it again. Strike! <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go back here. So, in addition to just functioning it as a robot, uh, we can go play games. Now, games are interesting because it allows you to use your droid itself and play. So let's go ahead and play this one here. I'm gonna pick up my droid. And play. So, so I just rotate it like this. Uh, this one is going to keep bouncing it off the walls. Here we go. Oh, this is getting faster. <laughs> So it's pretty interesting on like how sensitive this thing is. Literally, I'm barely moving it and like it works quite well and it's quite accurate actually. I see there's like different power-ups that you can use. Alright, so that's that game. Uh, so it's actually quite nice and it's really fun. Uh, and then here's Lightspeed Drifter. Let's try this. Okay, so I play. Reach the end of the level with uh, before the time runs out. Let's do this! So you control the steering using this, I believe. Oh, so you, I see. So when you're rotating it, you're trying to get the boosters. Come on! So the time's running out because it's going around the edge, just like that. So that's the end. So, interesting design. Uh, let's see what other games they have in here. So that's uh, the Drifter game. So you have this. Exile. So play. So tilt left, right, okay. So you go, okay, so you cool, you can actually control, control it like that. Come on! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, so kind of gives you an idea what's it about. Uh, definitely really cool. And yeah, there you guys have it. So this here is the Spiro Mini. Uh, definitely a lot of fun and especially for the value of it, you do get a lot out of it. Plus all the different games that you could play, uh, plus the pins and just having different fun with it makes it really unique. Now, if you guys have any questions about the Mini, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.